Hey, Shalom, double honours to the apostles of GMS, on the two brothers that will be pushing this truth and sincerity. It's going to be another quick one. Um, just updating you brothers on what's going out there in the um, in, in in the world and that. And um, um, I'm going to get into uh, I'm going to get into this a little bit. All right, these are some topical issues. Um, about that, you know, female liberation thing that they're doing, which all goes back to the worship of the woman, which is what they do in this society. And when you read the scriptures, the scripture speaks about a certain order. As a matter of fact, if we get that in the scriptures, um, um, I gotta remember the priest, no, so like, yeah. um, I think it's something like that. Okay, so this one is going to be in Col the book of Colossians, the first chapter, and um, round about the so like that's not actually the right one. That's a different one. It's going into something else. Ah. Right, this is Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, the 5th chapter, and the 23rd verse. And it, it's basically, it, we can start up a little bit. It's going to be telling us how, how the Mosai likes uh, order and how he set the order up in the, in, in, within both in the spirit world and both here on earth. So, and, and, you know, when you pray, what do you say? What do you say? You say, you know, let it be done here on earth as it is done within, uh, within, um, as it is done in heaven, so it says for the husband is the head of the. Uh, it's rather more. In, uh, if we start on the twenty 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 second verse. It says, "Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord." Right. So that's basically saying we're supposed to be like a Lord unto you. And you know what goes to prove that? The fact that uh, uh, one of our foremothers, right? You know, uh, uh, Sarah called uh, um, Isaac uh, Isaac Lord. Um, is it is that right? Right. So I, I might have uh, the wrong names in there, but the point is, one of the foremothers called one of the forefathers Lord. And she referred to him as as Lord. Right. And that's what's that pertaining to. And I I think I sit the history there a little bit, but nevertheless, the point is still valid. And it says, for the husband, um, it says, wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands, which you ain't gonna really get that in this society. Right. But that's what the scripture says you're supposed to be doing. If you ain't doing that, you're going off. Right? It says, for the husband is the head of the house, right? is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he's, uh, he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let ye wives be uh, to their own husbands in everything. Right? And that's supposed to show you the order that the Mosai has put, uh, put forth, in that you have the Mosai at the top, Underneath you have your house, right? right? And underneath that you have uh, the man. The man, principally starting off with with the man we know as King David, right? And then it goes down because that's, that's, that was the Lord's favorite. And when the Mosai talks about the house he's going to set up, he says he's going to set up the tabernacles of David like it, as it was in the old in the old days. And then you have all the you know the priests and his you know it's like a, it's like a, it would be like a, like a kingdom of domicile so he's gonna have his advisors priests and so on and so forth right and then you know it comes down all the way down to the, to the regular jakes and then then you women get involved right so you're out you're after that order right now i wanted to pull that priest about and i said i was gonna get this last but since i'm already harboring on it i'm gonna quickly touch on this and i'm gonna get into the russia thing in a second which um, it ain't gonna be no long lesson, like I said. So, it's not really a lesson, more just bringing the um, shedding light on some of these um, articles that you might have just uh, glanced at and not really gone into as much as uh, as much as you may need to, quote unquote. It says the Church of England green lights female bishop, right? Um, and the article reads when you go into um, um, in the recipe, it says in a historic vote on Monday, the Church of England leaders, right, which of that Church of England, I would, it, um, I, I wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be a bad guess to say, it wouldn't be a bad uh, a statement to say, that that church was really established by uh, Israel, Israel, man, the Israelites, when we ruled up in here, 
when we ruled it, um, when we ruled um, the, the Europe, man, when we was in Europe, uh, under the name of the Moors, which is the Moors goes back to the um, the Latin word uh, uh, meaning blacks. So basically, when blacks were in the rulership, so that's that's who went, that's through the Moors. I ain't no nation of people. That's who we was, man. What, what, what are we? We're, what, what we are right now is what we always been, which is Israelites, man. Not a, a derogatory term coined up by you know the so-called white man, right? Because because you know these Moors out there, these guys that call themselves Moors, man. Right, they're right in one sense, but that's that's just a term that that's just a, a derogatory term that applied to us at, at, at that particular at that particular time, man. Right, just just like how we was known as Negroes for a certain period of time, and just how we was known as niggers for a certain period of time. But all throughout history, our true nationality and our true nationality forever is always going to be Israel, man. Like the scripture says, man, is the most is not going to do it with Israel. In fact, it says in Isaiah the fourteenth chapter, right, um, the first verse, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, um, pretty much it says, um, for the most side, we yet choose Israel. So, pretty much after all of this has been said and done, and gone back and forth, from the common balls back and forth, in conversation and debating on the streets and all of that, after all of that's been said and done, right, the most side is still going to choose Israel. After Esau has searched out the depths of the heavens, after he searched out the depths of the seas, right, after he set up his own, his own, uh, um, his own madness upon the earth, and we're gonna see, as you've already seen, really, that priest of goes to prove it that you ain't really supposed to be having women up in positions of teaching and all of that, because they're supposed to be subject unto their husbands. When you look at these women, man, they're all out of order, man. Right? That's out of order. Right? It says, um, um, uh, in a historic vote on Monday, Church of England leaders finalized legislation allowing women to become ordained. As bishops, and like I was saying, we was probably the ones that set that up, that Church of England up, but it was probably in wickedness and all of that, just like how we set up our um, so called Roman Catholicism. That was all wickedness because that all went all back to um, the worship of Mary and worship of women, right? And, and really, we ain't supposed to be, we're not really, we ain't supposed to be doing that period, man. We're supposed to be worshiping your house, man, and we're worshiping through his son, magnifying and glorifying the son. Just as I just as I come to the Father, because the scriptures say if in the new uh, in the so called New Testament, man, he that seeth your house size is all he's seen the most high himself, man. Right? And what more glory can a father have done in his son, man? So when you glorify the son, man, it's just you're glorifying the, the, the father because the father raised him up, man. Right? And it says the general uh, uh sign of the church, a uh, lawmaking body, passed the change um to can uh to, uh, to change the canon law, right, which with an overwhelming majority in London, only 30 people out of the 480 vote, voted against it. So only 30 people out of 480 people had any kind of sense, man, right? Which goes to show you that whole church thing is completely against the scriptures, man. I mean, if you're a new brother and you're coming up to this thing, really, this should make you, this should, this should, this should inflame you in, with, with, with rage, man. Because it is... I mean, you know, sometimes they, they, they throw them ones, oh, it's not in the New Testament. Well, we read it, we just read it here in the New, in the New Testament, man. Right? And sometimes they throw some other curveballs at you, but that's total, that's total, that's completely out of order, man. Right? That's completely out of order. Now, there ain't nothing wrong with, um, uh, as I've heard, right? And, and as the scriptures that clarify as well, yeah, you can teach a woman that you be supposed to, she's supposed to be learning at home underneath her husband. She raises up the kids and teaches them under the vibration that you've teach them, right? So, um, um, if we jump into the next thing, right, the next paragraph, it said, uh, you know, and really, that's pretty much it, man. I, I'm not gonna go too, all, you know, too all, all deep and all of that. That's that just goes to show you the madness and the fuckery that's going up here in this society, man, and how backwards this society is. So, with that said, and um, if you bear in mind the key word here, they, the green lights, the first uh, green lights female bush, bishop, right? And we go here in the book of First Timothy, the third, the, the third, uh, the third chapter on the first verse, it says, uh, rather more, you can start right from the top, man. So right from the top, so. If I go down, if we, if we go up to the top, man, right, so you can't see it on the screen, right there, right, this is First Timothy 3 and 1, it says, it is, uh, this is a true saying, if a man desires, right, if a man desires, right, the office of a bishop, 
He desireth the good works. There ain't no women there, man. If a man desireth, desireth uh, the office of a bishop, right? He desireth a good work. Now, don't get it twisted, man. These are these are these are good. Everything's beautiful when it's order. Catfish is beautiful when it's order. When it's sweeping up the floors, or uh, sweeping up the floors of the, the ocean, right? A slug is beautiful in this order when it's cleaning up the, the garden, right? A worm is good in this order when it's uh, 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 making them um, uh, um, them 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 uh, pores within the soil so the soil can breathe and the vegetation can grow, man, right? But if you start eating slugs and worms and and catfish and all of that, that's out of order. That's using it and abusing it against what it was created for. Same thing with the woman. The woman was made for the pleasure of man. Right, what goes to prove that the book of the book of Genesis goes to prove that he most I made him a help me, man. Right, when you go to the book, uh, book of Genesis, Genesis, the three, the third chapter, and the fifteenth verse, what does it speak of? Basically, a woman being in in, in a certain uh, in in, a, in an order, uh, being subject unto the husband. Right, and, and really, that's what's most attractive to a man. A, a, a man, a man is going to be attracted to a woman, man. And what's more feminine than a woman just doing some womanly things, man? Right, it says. Um, a bishop must then uh, be blameless, right? And when we got like uh, the point I just made there, man, ain't nothing feminine about these women, man. Ain't no attractive woman out here, man. You see, all of them, they all look like men. Got the the, the, the short hair, except with the exception of this one, right? But she's ugly anyway, right? You got this one with the, with the short hair and all of that, man. You know, you got the men sitting next to them, and the men look like faggots as well, man. right? Right, and it says here, if a man desires the office of bishop, right, right, and that, that brings me to my that brings uh, brings to mind the scripture when the Lord said, um, gird up thy loins like a gird up like, like, sort of loins like a like a man. You see, you see a manly a man is, is is that's a that's a that's a play down term, man. Right, if you're a boy, you're a boy. If you're a man, there's a difference between a man and a boy, and there should be a difference between a girl and a woman, man. Right, a man's supposed to be a man and do that which is manly, which is no, to, as pursuing to um, Ecclesiastes the the the, the twelfth chapter and the thirteenth verse, I believe, right. The whole duty of man is to serve the how man to serve the most high. Right, it says it is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire for good work. A bishop must be blameless, a husband to one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, right, given to good hospitality, apt to teach. Right, that goes into what we're supposed to be and how we're supposed to be uh, behaving ourselves. But check out the order when we go on to it. It says, not giving to wine, right? Which goes into them different philosophers. They ain't talking about some wine, because if that was talking about some wine, how are you going to observe the um, the Passover, right? Doesn't that mean that's contradictory with the, with, the, with the scriptures, right? So that's talking about them different philosophies. And when you read the scriptures in the book of Revelations, in fact, that will be, um, um, that's this this will be relevant to this, um, to this uh to, to this here topic right um, um where he talks about America pouring out the wrath of our fornication upon these different nations right so this is um a revelations the eighteenth chapter on the and the third verse it says for all the nations have drunk of the wine of a wrath of our fornication Right, so that wine of the wrath of our fornication, what's that talking about? That's talking about the same thing here, man. That's the wrath of the fornication of America. That's a, that's an Americanism right here, man. Women preachers and all of that, man. Right? That's out of order. We just read it in the scriptures, man. If a man desire the office of a bishop, it doesn't say no women, if a man or a woman desire the office of a bishop, and when you read into it, right, it's gonna become more explicit that it's talking about men. Right? And we're going to the book of uh back in the book of um Revelations the 18th chapter it says right for all the nations have drank of the wine of a wrath, uh, wrath of a fornication right and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her right and the merchants of the earth have wiped rich through the abundance of our delicacies right it really goes into something else now if I pick back up where I left right and not given to wine nor stricker uh, not, not greedy for filthy lucre's sake but to be patient not a brawler not covetousness one that ruleth his house, right? One that ruleth his own house, right? I'm going to read that again, man. One that ruleth his own house, man. You can't be... Ain't, ain't no joint rulership in that, man. Right? Because that goes, that goes into how the disbalance that Esau has sought to destroy the, um, the black community, man. 
See, all you got these dudes upon upon YouTube talking about the black community, this, that, and the third, man. Right, man. When you really read the scriptures, man, you can clearly that this is this is all the black community, and then really, and this ain't no pseudo black thing anyway. This is about a nation, the uprising of the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the rule Israelites, man. Right, this ain't no pseudo black thing. So when you're talking about the, the community being broken down, it you building the community and all that. Really, you just gotta read it in the scriptures, man. That's how you're gonna build up the community, man. Because because your scriptures will tell you exactly what's wrong with your with your so-called uh, community. You got these women in, in, in with these, uh, um, and really it's because they made a pact. She she made a pact with the devil, Esau, right? And, and, and it's all do it, man. That's why they got these good jobs and all. And you know what? More power to you, man. If that's what you want to be about, that's what you're gonna be about. You know, real men ain't really gonna be dealing with that, man. That's the, I don't find a woman that, that that thinks she's in power attractive, man. Unless unless I have it in my mind to where I wanna bring it to put put that woman back in subjection, man. Because, I, I, you know, you get a kick out of that, man. You find someone that feels like they kind of, a woman that feels like she's got something, some kind of power and you humble that, man. Right? That's a, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing, man. Right? Other than that, man, that ain't, you know, that that's not really attractive, man. Walking down with your, walking up and down with your nose up in the sky, man. Right? And that's why it says here, hey, one that ruleth his own house, right? To rule your own house, man. Right? That's what you gotta do. It says having his his his, uh, um, his children in subjection with all gravity, right? Uh, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, see, you don't. If you don't know how to rule your own house, having your, your woman in the position where she's making uh, decisions that you're you're making, man, right? And don't get me wrong. You know, we, you know, we're a cursed people, man. There's gonna be women out there, right? That, that, that are on their own and raising children. Right? That's a different matter altogether. But I'm talking about being in this in this truth. You know, in this world, you're supposed to, you know, follow a certain order, and that order is brought out in the scriptures. But really, I'm bringing this out for I'm not, I'm not here to give you family lessons, man. Right? I'm not in a position where I can give you family lessons. I haven't experienced all of that, right? But this is just to prove that this is completely out of order, right? I'm just basically uh, being facetious about the manly side of this scripture. That's all, right? It says, "One that ruleth his own house, all right, having his children in subjection, for a man who uh, rule not his own house." Right, how shall, I, how shall he take care of the church of the most high? So, you know, they ain't ruling their own houses, man. There's a subjection underneath the man. So really, really, the man that that, that these men go, that these women go go to, if they have a man, right? Really, he he's he's in a, a higher position. He's supposed to be in a higher position than than she is, man. He's supposed to be the bishop, man. not not the woman, man. Right? And she's supposed to be keeping her mouth at home, man. Right, and we're gonna read that in the scriptures again in the book of Timothy. Right, so I don't need that anymore. I can go to um, right, um, I, I, I read that already. Ephesians, the five chapter, the fifth chapter, and the second verse. Now, this is uh, first Timothy 2 and 11, where it says, Let the woman learn in silence with all subjections, but I suffer not a woman to teach. Right, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Right. But to be in silence, man, this is the Bible, man. Right? And like I was saying, man, you want, you're talking about you're talking about uh, 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 the problems in the black community. Well, you, you solve that first, man. And you're going to be all right, man. Right? You're going to be able to move about your business, you know, in, in harmony, like you said. But really, that ain't going to happen because the Most High put the curses upon Israel. And we're going to serve out this sentence, right, until he removes these curses off of us. All right? And we get into our own kingdom. Right, it says, for Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in child in childbearing, right, if they continue in the faith and charity and holiness and sobriety. And they, that they're gonna be saved. So all of these women, they'll, 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 they'll have you believe that they, like they've been saved or something like that. But you know, ain't, ain't no Israelite man and there's truth digging on this man. That's that's not feminine. Right, these these beasts out here with the short hair and all of that, man. These these uh, these 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 uh, 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 cheerleader cheerleader rejects, man. Right, because that's what that's what really a lot of these, especially these women, man. They get all religious once one if once they get up in age because they can't go freaking around, or two if they was just ugly from the from the start, of, man. Right, that's when they really get into them scriptures, man. But it'll, you know, you get some cute ones that be all up in that because they got the zeal and all that because it is like so. Yeah. You know, every um 
every coin has a, has, a, has, a, has its two sides right and we go into um this man this is the book of isaiah 29 chapter 20, 16 verse it says surely you're turning off things upside down shall be esteemed as the pot as clay right it's talking about east one turning things upside down because really the man's supposed to be bishops and all of that it says i'm um, really we ain't like i said man we ain't really um, you know the church of england and all that that's all madness man that's all that's all devil's work right you're gonna you're gonna find this word out you're gonna find the truth out there in the streets you ain't gonna find it in the church man Doth not the scripture say where where two are gathered in my name? That's that's church, man. So you wanna go find yourself a nice church, man. You're gonna find it out there in the cold, man. In the rain. Hey, sometimes it might be good weather, but for the most part, right, it's in season, out of season. Right? Whatever happens, happens, man. We just take it. Right, because it's our duty to take it, like the book says, man. All right, it says for um for the shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or or shall the the thing that framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding. So, point to take there, man. Esau's turning your things upside down is going to be esteemed to support his clay. Right? And I wanted to bring this image out. This is from the elders and that. And then one of the one of the beasts with the seven heads and the ten horns is nail. Right? The seven heads and the ten horns are the kingdoms of e uh, ruled by, kingdoms ruled by Esau. You've got America on the top there. One of the principal things that they push is that within their philosophies is that religion. Because that religion once you have them women in the place of power, man, that's pretty much how it's gonna be in all different, in, in you know, in in the whole realm of of, of life, man. So they going you know, she's gonna be giving out orders in in her house and that, man, which is completely out of order. But I wanted to bring out that out real quick. So that's pretty much that done and dusted. But I wanted to uh, touch on this a little bit. If, if the page loads up, all right? Let's say, in the, yeah, there we go, all right? And I've been banging on this Russia drum, and I'm continue to be banging on this Russia drum, man, to this kingdom be destroyed, because we know that's just gonna be out. And I just wanted to bring out this point real quick, touching on that, and I use that as to supplement uh, videos that I've uh, put out previously. It says um, uh, Russia's foreign minister uh, Sergei Lavrov says U.S. Secretary of State uh, Kerry called on him to pay no mind to the statement. Uh, 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 statement uh, by President Obama in which Russia it was included to a list of top global threats. So essentially, what Obama's you know has made a list of um, things that that uh, um, that he feels are global threats to um, to America's ex existence. And guess what? Uh, 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 Russia ranked in second. So you can find that also on uh, RT and all of that, but. I always like bringing that Russia thing up because that's going to be the thing, man. Right? But, you know, with that, I'm going to sign out and say double honest to the apostles of GMS and honest to you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Check you out on the next one, man. Shalom.